Hey again, it's George with Carolina Motion Controls, and today I'm going to show you a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial on lead-through programming with the ABB GoFuck Collaborative Robot. Okay, so just like in the previous video, we want to open up the Wizard Easy Programming menu and make sure that we are in auto mode with the motors on, and then we can enable lead-through. Um, so we're going to simulate a welding application here. I have a stainless steel operator panel. Uh, we don't have the welding package on this robot, but we're just going to pretend. Um, I'll show you here. On the top, there are two buttons. There's a uh, convex button and an indented concave button. Uh, the concave button is the one we're going to be using to record each position. Uh, so first, I'll record sort of a home position here uh, by just pressing that button. And then I can get started. Um, I have found that the more positions you record, uh, the more um, closely it will replicate what you did. Okay, so we've recorded each position now, um, and you can see that uh, it just has it moving tool zero at whichever speed we set to um, whichever location we recorded. Uh, so this is just going to take the path of least, least resistance, which is usually not in a linear uh, fashion. So what we can do is we can just delete all these. The locations will be saved within uh, this file. And then I'm going to change all of these um, using the locations we just recorded. It started at 21 and we'll go down from there. So this is moving the tool at whichever speed we set, which we're going to change to moderately since it's uh, sort of precise movements and it'll move it in a straight line. Uh, and that'll just help it uh, more closely um, represent the path that we told it to, uh, to follow. Okay, so I've changed all the, um, the instructions here to move in a straight line. That way it'll uh, more closely replicate what I, um, what I did during the teaching. Uh, and you can also see here that I changed some of the um, speeds here uh, down to moderately and then a couple of them to slowly. Um, so we can go ahead and watch this run. And you can also see, while it's running, it's showing you which step it's on. So these are the slow movements here. Flips over so that it can get to that nice angle there. And then I added in at the end um, for it to return back to uh, the initial position. Okay, so if we want to run this program again, um, we can kind of watch it and make sure that it's doing everything that we want and hitting the spots that we told it to. Um, and if we see something that maybe, let's stop it there. So let's say that maybe that's a little bit too low and we want it to uh, start right there a little bit higher. Um, we can see that it stopped on location 20. Um, so we can hold this down and press update location. Um, and so we can either now, we can update this location by using the lead through again and, um, you know, mainly moving it up a little bit or to make sure that it goes straight up, we can switch to manual here and then, uh, jog it and we'll you choose linear. Uh, and then we need to hold the dead man switch here. And we just need to twist this joystick a little bit and it'll get straight up for us. So just a small movement up. Okay. Once we have that, we can press done. And it'll save that location. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions or would like more information, our email and phone number are in the description.
description below.